Hi friends! Today we're going to do my TBR takedown for the month of February. <laughs> point it's currently March and I filmed a January takedown but didn't ever edit it or post it I will be doing that just so you kind of know um what I read and what I hauled um will that go up before this or after this I don't know I might post them both on the same day just to be wild basically what you need to know is that I didn't take the numbers down in January I actually ended up at 163 which was the same place that I started so no big deal I read a lot I hauled a lot. Let's move on. Pay close attention to the numbers at the top because I read some of the books that I hauled and so the numbers up here will be going crazy. Well, just the one side. The other side stays the same. But the one side will be going crazy. The other side shall be the same. All right, Bob, put a 163 on the board. If you don't know what the TBR takedown is, it's essentially this game that I'm playing trying to get my unread physical TBR down from well, 163 now, but I think it started out at 240 when we started this game in 2018. Obviously, I'm not doing very good because I'm still at 163 and we started at 240, but that's neither here nor there. This year, I'm really just trying to get it down to 100. That's my goal. 100 this year and then hopefully down to 50 and then I would like to balance it at 50 after that. It's going to be a multi-year process, but we're working towards it. We're getting there. We will first go over my hauls for the month, the first of which is Makeup Breakup by Lily Manon. This is actually the adult pen name of Sadia Mignon. Um, I actually read this in January, so I will link you to my wrap-up video in the description box down below if you want to know how I felt about this. Essentially, it is a book about two characters who kind of had like a situation ship over the summer and then well, not over the summer. I guess it was a kind of a summer fling. I don't know. Either way, uh, moving forward, it's like a year later, and they both are these tech geniuses who have these dating apps. One's called Makeup, one's called Breakup, and Annika, who created Makeup, feels like Hudson made Breakup and kind of stole her idea, even though it's fundamentally a different type of app. And so she kind of hates his guts a little bit and it's it's like a hate to love except it's also got some communication error and they also were kind of hot and heavy for a minute and then then they hate each other and then it's a hate to love. It's a great romance basically is where I'm going with that. So uh, again if you would like to know my full thoughts link down below. We then have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. This is the author tube chat book club pick for March and April. So I there will be a live show for this in April if you would like to join me and Kate reading this. Um, that's why I picked this up. It was at my local bookshop. So I went ahead and picked it up so I could read it for the chat. This book kind of starts out in a breakfast clubby sort of vibe. There are five students who get put into detention and by the end of detention there's only four students left alive. One of them has died during detention and it was a murder. And so the book follows us trying to figure out which of these four students was the killer. We then have The Project by Courtney Summers. This was a new release in February, I do believe. I pre-ordered it, so that would sound right. This book is about a cult. Um, there's two sisters. One of the sisters is in the cult. The other sister is trying to figure out how to get her sister out of the cult. So she like infiltrates the cult. There's a, it's a cult. It's pretty much all I know. Sisters, cult, supposedly the cult leader is like super hot. I think. I don't know. Uh, the Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This is the Alcray edition. It is beautiful. I actually had an arc of this. This book is set in a society where on a girl's 16th birthday, I believe it's her 16th birthday, um, there's like a coming of age and the girls are basically bloodlet. They draw blood from them in order to find out if they are pure or not. Um, it's a very patriarchal religious society and basically um, some of the girls have red blood, some have gold blood. Any of the girls that are gold-blooded are considered part demon and unpure and essentially are executed by their families immediately. Which is cool, right? I love the back of this. It says, are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? This book follows uh, our main character who is gold-blooded and essentially there are some circumstances that lead to her and some other gold-blooded girls being um, taken in 
by the emperor or the king um, to make an army against these demons that are um, hunting them and it's uh yeah about that you know it's societal issues you know I'm gonna love it so next is The Cold is in Her Bones by Peter Nell Van Arsdale this is actually from Bethany a beautifully bookish Bethany who I will link down below uh we were in a live chat and we were discussing my absolute love for all things Medusa and this is a very light Medusa retelling that she had an arc of I think this is actually from 2019 yeah it was a January 2019 release um and she had read it and liked it but didn't absolutely love it and she was kind enough to send this to me so that I could give it a try um I have actually started it and I'm enjoying it so far. So there are the five books that I hauled and of those five I've already read this one so only four of them count which gets us to 167. It should say 167 up there. Now we can talk about reads. As I always tell you I don't go through the wrap-up of these. I will link to the wrap-up in the description box down below if you want to know how I felt about these. This is just for me and for you so I can tell you what I read and whether it counted or not towards the goal. So we have a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. This does not count as this was like a fifth time reread for me. I then read House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielewski. Slay by Brittany Morris. The Devouring Grey and The Deck of Omens by Christine Lynn Herman. The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. Amelia on a Bridge by Ashley Shoemaker. The Survivors by Jane Harper. The Name of the Star. The Madness Underneath and The Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson. The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. It's French. And Asylum and Sanctum by Madeline Rue. So there were some arcs in there that didn't count, some books that I read that I don't own that don't count. The Little Prince technically doesn't count even though I own a physical copy of it because this was not counted in my physically owned books. Um, this is an old library book that I got I, several years ago and for some reason I had these in the closet and they were not counted and I say they because there's more than just this one. Um, they're not counted in my physical unread books uh, because they're all like Agatha Christie. Um, I think I have the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, some Sherlock Holmes. Basically they're like classics that I'm probably I'm not going to force myself to read because you know how I feel about classics um, but I got them for like 50 cents a piece so these as I'm reading them will not come off of the physical TBR but I'm also not counting them towards my physical TBR because they're not books that I'm ever going to read like for no reason. Like I read this one because I needed a translated book for a challenge. So yeah and then Perfect on Paper and Amelia Unabridged were both arcs that came out. One came out last month, one came out this month. Basically there are 10 books there that should count. And then um, we're at Unhauls and DNFs. I do have one DNF this month. It was Circe by Madeline Miller. I read about 51 or 52 percent of this. Not my jam. I typically really I love Greek mythology and I know the story of Circe fairly well and this is a very dry book and so I just felt like I already knew everything that was happening and if I wanted to read something like this I would read I would prefer like the actual mythology of it versus someone's fictional retelling of the mythology if that makes sense. It just was not for me. I understand why people like this book um, especially if you like character driven books but just not for me and that's okay. I honestly only read 50% of it because the Avengers Initiative Challenge there is a prompt or like a, a reward where you can count a book that you DNF'd if you read 50% of it. So literally the only reason why I continued reading after about 25% was for that. 163 plus 4 is 167 and minus 10 is 157 minus one is 156. So we are at 156 books for the end of February which means I need to read 56 books off of my physical shelves by the end of the year not counting whatever I bring in. Hopefully things continue going well and I'm able to crush this and we'll be at 100 books on my physical unread TBR by the end of the year. 
If you have read any of these books and you have any comments, questions, or concerns and you would like to discuss them, please let me know in the comment section down below. After all, discussing the books is why we're here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh.